Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Last time we recruited ourselves a little dog called Nickers, and uh, yeah, I'm really itching to try him out. We're still in Edern, and things do not look good. We're looking for King Damavent to see if we can't help him out, he can't help us out with the Nilfgaardians. Guardians. But uh, so far, Edin looks like it has been laid to waste completely, so it's kind of interesting. In hindsight, it feels like uh, Willem's decision to side with the Nilf Guardians kind of saved Lyria from the fate that Edin seems to be in. But uh, I'm not saying that the Nilf Guardians are the good guys, of course, but still, I feel like I kind of understand why he took that decision. But we need to make our way through the Mulderwood. And that appears to be Squiatel territory. So uh, let's move through this ravine. I will definitely be ambushed in a minute. So uh, we heard talk about an, a Squiatel leader called Eldane. Eve and her companions neared the Moulderwood, a dense ancient forest of trees whose tangled branches had witnessed the conjunction of the spheres. The Weeping Willow. It was not until King Vidimont's day that a road was finally carved through the primeval thicket significantly shortening the journey from Rosberg to Aldersburg. Even when peace reigns, danger rules this road, Rayla said. Now, now no one dares travel it. At the edge of the wood by the road stood an enormous willow. Its branches swept down to cover its trunk, looking for all the world like long tresses shrouding a woman's face. Meave had an ill premonition. She did not like the sickly sweet aroma wafting from this tree nor the metallic buzzing of insect wings. She sent a scout to investigate. Okay. He drew aside the drooping branches and stumbled back. There were men bound to the tree, covered in sap oozing from gashes in its trunk. Its heavy scent had attracted swarms of insects, flies, wasps, bees and beetles. Holy crap. They seethed over the bound men crawling in and out of their ears and nostrils. And they're Eldane still alive. To his wood. Rayla whispered. Meave stepped towards the tree and saw the men stuck to it were all still alive. Those the elves had caught recently writhed and howled for rescue. Those hanging longer merely followed the queen with half-crazed bloodshot eyes. Jesus Christ, this is horrifying. Free the captives or keep your distance from the tree. I mean, I've been taking the good side, I mean, the, the morally good decision every time, but I feel like this is not a good idea. Are these guys not infected with something or are they just hurt? Okay, let's see if we can try to free the ones that we can actually, <laughs> that are still kind of alive. Well, are you to stand there all day? Meave screamed to her dumbstruck Lyrians. Free them at once! Her soldiers needed no more prompting and set about sawing at the ropes with their blades. As soon as they had freed the first captive, before even a word of thanks could be uttered, a flaming streak soared through the air and stuck in the tree. The oozing resin burst into flames, engulfing the prisoners as well as the soldiers who had come to their aid. Yeah, we just lost Elder's eight soldiers. The cries rang out from the woods as elven warriors launched their attack. Nilkaipsia! It's a trap! cried Reynard. Defend the queen! Holy crap, so they bounced soldiers onto this tree, covered them in sap, and then just set the, the sap on fire. Okay, great, here we go. Squiatel, which means we do have a bit of an advantage with Rayla, because I think she gets boosted every time we kill a Squiatel unit. The Lillians fought in a veritable inferno, choking and drowning in a sea of crimson smoke, surrounded by the horrific screams of men whose skin had begun to melt and warp. The ambushing elves appeared as specters, black paint streaked across their faces, eyes smoldering with their virulent hatred for humankind. So a single round battle against Squiatel. Uh, let's see, uh, let's just remove every blitz unit we have in here. I think we should get Rayla out of here if we can, so let's get rid of the Morana runestone. Don't need the extra forager. Uh, war wagons or blitz units as well. And maybe get rid of the alchemist. Come on, give me one. Give me one. Give me one. Give me at least Rayla. Come on. Yep. Keep your heads in the fight. They'll seek to blind us with shock and awe. Okay, so egg transforms into. Okay, so egg transforms into his divine inspiration form. 
And then we have Gascon and Reynard in our hands as well. And Nickers. So Nickers, whenever you play a gold card, summon Nickers from your deck. So that's not good because I didn't want to really have it like that. This unit may raid your hands for yummy treats. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. But uh, let's use our first drummer. Because both the rows are on fire, which is definitely going to hurt us. And then that unit just damage a unit by two. If it was already boosted, damage it by six instead. It. It being the elven archer. It being the drummer in this case. No idea. Um, let's put Nickers on the field. I don't know what that's going to do. I'm going to put him on the same row. And then use the regiment drummer to get a war wagon out on this road to see because if i get damaged you can try to win them all i actually you do won't. damage on the uh on the other side so that's good so i think next turn None shall tread on oh us. that's with a cooldown yeah so they can damage us every single time those two are down so they take damage ah that is perfect so I do want to take out the archers now with Meave. There we go. Uh, let's put another drummer down on the same row as Nickers and the other drummer. Here we go. Army's wasted time for one. And on the turn, what does this one do? Whenever a non-elf unit is destroyed, now boost this unit by two. Weak. A non-elf unit is destroyed. Okay, so that's talking about us. I think I need to start filling out my board here. So let's use the drummer. Get a uh, Sightman out. Let's put them on the same row as well. Uh, listen to me, old lady. Play Rainet because we only have two drummers in this deck, so this is fine. Her Majesty knows what she's doing. And then use the two drummers to again use some, get some Sightman out. This I this think I do have another. Oh. oh, we can turn the tide a bit. So there we go. Watch Let's your heads. <laughs> set another row on fire as well. So three out of the four rows are on fire at the moment. Still don't know what Nick is, does, but this unit may raid your hand for yummy treats thing. Apparently it still hasn't happened yet. Hmm. So that's a trap. So we need to be careful. So let's just use the forager on these two. I only need corpses. Except sometime. They're quite fresh. Damage it until its power is equal to the war dancer. But we do get boosted. Egg boosted there, which is interesting. I'm gonna leave the forager as it is for now. Because if I can get egg in between there as well, it's gonna get boosted by a lot now. Have strength, my love. Okay, an elven mercenary. After two turns on turn start, damage adjacent units by six. If any were destroyed, move it to the other side of the battlefield. Adjacent units by six. If anywhere destroyed, move to the other side of the battlefield. Okay, I don't want it to destroy my units there. So I'm gonna start off with the Lyrian Horn now. And hope, I'm hoping that's enough. So let's just use the Lyrian Horn. It gets them up to seven, but if the fire works again, then I'm gonna lose Nickers, sadly. Oh, what the hell did he just do? He ate something in my hand. He scroll. ate the artifact. Nickers ate the the Lyrian Merlot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, that's not good. Because of course now I can't use the Lyrian Merlot. <laughs> uh, very interesting. Um, let's just use the straight. I need to be careful because if he starts, <laughs> that's not good. That's not a good power. Um, let's deploy the slinger and put the three front slinger. units the on the problem. fire row. There we go. And that gives us, yeah, more stuff. Here we go. Ooh, this is gonna be, this might be bad. The storm is coming. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. Um, let's put Gascon on the field. In between the Sightman and... Nothing uh, personal, I assure you. Okay, let's end the turn. Now we'll use me even the final turn. 
to do Death as much world. damage as we can. The Varahead Brigade, no ability. And that gives us a lot more egg power. And the Elven Mercenary didn't manage to kill anybody there. So, first off, Rivian Broadsword on the Vryhead Brigade, which damages the other commando there as well. Gets our Sightman up as well, and then we use Egg, Prepare which is 81. If you've any honor. And use a Forager to just reduce the amount of uh, units over here. And get it to 98! That's a hell of a number on one unit, so let's pass. And hope we survived that onslaught. I think we did. Yeah, it just boosts the units to by 10. So uh, there we go. Don't let them regroup. Finish off the wounded. Yeah, Rayla is a bit uh, angry there. So I definitely the need done. to stop we making the moral decisions. The still ragged. The thick stench of blood, sap, and ash she sucked in made her stomach churn and head swoon. The Scoyatel. I'd heard of their cruelty, but the Queen said, sheathing her sword. But I. Never have I countenanced a thing like this. Black Rayla, who had just extracted her blade from between an elven gorilla's ribs, smiled darkly. Worst is yet to come, my lady. The queen regrouped her forces and marched into the Moldawood. The Lyrians sang none of their usual marching songs. Instead, they walked in silence, eyes darting constantly to their flanks. Okay, so we did get a bit of resources from that, but we lost... Nine units, I think, or even more, because I feel like we lost more than we saw Hear at that. the beginning there. Nightingales. Unmindful of war, they sing on. Those are no birds, my lady. Just Scoitel scouts use animal cries to communicate. Tell the men to hold to the road, my lady. Anyone wanders in the trees, they don't come out. Okay. So that was horrible. The Scoitel really upped their game uh, this time. Uh, we get another marker for fast traveling, and we're right next to some elven ruins I want to check out. Uh, we didn't get an exclamation mark or question mark over here, but a letter translated from Elder Speech to all the visions. The Lydian Queen is currently passing through the Mulderwood. Her regiment is not large, but we cannot afford to underestimate her. Do what you can to halt her advance and weaken her forces. We will strike when they are at their breaking point. From Eldane himself. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna check out the map really quickly because I feel like, yeah, so there's areas. Ooh, this is winding. So I could go to the northeast here first into that mill or go to where the game is likely pointing me towards. We need to go over there to those elven ruins. But let's go to that puzzle and that battle over there. We know. That that is there, we don't know what's over here. So let's just go west. So there's a little camp here, probably another ambush. So let's take a look. There we have more standard uh, Gwent battle. Abandoned camp. The presence of Winter's tent suggested others had visited the Mulderwood not long past. Yet why had they deserted their camp? What had become of them? Before the Lyrian scouts had a moment to investigate, they were surrounded by the sounds of slackened bowstrings and whistling arrows. Again, short in battle, so we should be able to do this. Another ambush. So we still have neutral morale. Uh, but I feel like I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah, Nikis is automatically played, so I don't need him in my hand. We have Rayla here as well, and then we have two charges we can give to another unit. So I think... Should probably get a drummer in my hand as well. Yeah, there's one drummer, that's good. And then the medic I'm not going to be able to use because it's only one round. There we go. Two drummers, we get Raina to... Oh yeah, we're going to be able to do a lot there. One they came est. Um, let's start simple. And just use the drummers to fill out the row. So yeah, let's just use the drummer first. Again, and then the third. Again and again. What can that leader do, actually? Is that the same as before? Damage an enemy by five. I think he does. Yeah. Ooh, that was painful. Can't see it right now. And it's adjacent units by two, and it can do that every three turns. Interesting. Order. Choose a card with an order and give it one charge. With two charges. So I think we're going to use Xavier Lemons. 
so Xavier Lamont, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, need to pronounce that correctly. My and pain serves a purpose. There we go. There's Nickers. Then let's use Xavier to uh, boost the drummer and get those sidemen out of here. We'll be reaping there we go. Heads. And another one. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. And then the Rivian broadsword to just boost those three sidemen immediately. And the third. So they can now kill my drummer, technically. Wow. Slaughter them to a man! So six damage on boosted units. Okay, that's annoying. I'm gonna set that row on fire. This could hurt. And then this one, damage the highest enemy by the number of elven allies. So that's gonna be my lay incitement over there. Fine. So Nickers, and I feel like I'm gonna have to force him out of the deck sometimes, because... Okay, so that's now damage. We see who's weak. And then three, another two damage, and that's pretty much it. I feel like I should heal up pretty soon. Might want to use the war wagon now and see what happens with that, so I can get maybe five damage out of that. But I'm starting to lose ground a bit. There we go, war wagon. For some reason it didn't destroy the right archer, so they're still able to do two and six damage respectively. I shall not fail! There we go. He's gonna do six damage and two next to him. Yeah, okay, we lose one unit. And another four damage over there, and another six damage over there. So I feel like I made the right call to not use the Marana runestone immediately. So now I can heal up all of that. And strengthen them a bit. They are now all boosted, of course, so... A bit, a bit vulnerable towards the archers, but if they get damaged... So Nickus took the Lyrian Merlot again, so he likes, for some reason, likes the Merlot. Did boost them a lot, but those two archers are still alive, sadly. So they can do six damage each. Then we get... Hmm... So first up, let's use the Regiment Drummer and get that on. Army's a waste of time for me. He's gonna damage us to five, which is not that bad. Let's end the turn. Let's hopefully get it. Yeah, there's one Archer down at least. And Rayla is boosted because of that. She's not that strong, aside from the fact that she can actually Go kiss a dog get cards out of the deck. Okay. So then I can use the Drummer to get another Sightman out. Aye. Use Rainit. I don't even know if I have enough Company, Blitz units to, to actually finish that off. I do have another Sightman. Uh, should I listen to uh, that's later. seven on each row, so I still have plenty of space. Yeah, okay, so the Regiment Drummer uh, can't do anything, so I don't have any more Blitz units in my deck. So end the turn. Please kill that Archer. Nope. Doesn't die. Doesn't die. So I think Black Rayla will be able to get Ache out of there. This is Elven Land, Dwan. Upon which your kind dies. And another. Ooh. Yeah, there goes the other drummer. And those guys get armor from. Yeah, from the hawker support. So let's use Black Rayla on the top row. There we go. And then we can actually use Meave, because I think the boost from the five sidemen is going to be better than waiting one more turn. So let's damage the neophytes, like that, and we get a lot of boosts, and let's hope that uh, that archer finally dies. So and then to end it, we're gonna get Egg out of the deck, put him somewhere nice, in between two powerful tricks will not units. Save you, there goes more armor. We still didn't kill the... The two light infantrymen, so I'm gonna use a forager to do just that. But first, let's use Black Rayla and get Egg on the field, which is who is boosted to 59 already. So let's get him over there. I fear not. For then free. use the forager next to the two One man's light infantrymen. Man's ripe patch for harvest. We don't lose anything, but we get twice five damage on the other side, and we can pass. And that kills the archer. No, it just removes the armor. Okay, he had two armor by now. 
So I think he's gonna die. Death awaits us all. Ooh, eight damage. That was a lot, but uh, there we go. Victory. Defeated ourselves another band of Squirtel. Another band of squirrels. So uh, that gives us a lot more resources as well. And cleared out the woods a bit further. Now, I think the puzzle battle was down to the south, if I'm not mistaken. Probably that little side route over there. Ooh, the routes are actually really, really blocked off here. So the game is saving. So I'm definitely... Yeah, there's a... Like a little fountain over there. Is this a path? No. A little fountain over there. There's resources around as well. But what the hell is this going to be? A puzzle battle. Prayer interrupted. Located at crossroads, shrines of Melitale were meant to protect travelers from evil. Yet, when Queen Meave approached one to pray, her force suddenly came under fire. Victims of an ambush. Sometimes, irony stings. Reduce the power of all enemy archers to one and do not let Meave die. Okay, so puzzle battle again. We have a custom deck. So we're going to have to see what we have. So four... Why is Meave on the other side? So Meave wanted to pray. Okay, so Meave wanted to pray and was ambushed. Which is why Meave is now surrounded by Squiatel. Whenever this unit's power changes, damage Meave by one. But we need to reduce the power of the elves to one as well. So back is Dark Mary. Damage the highest unit on the battlefield by up to 15. Then boost the lowest unit by the amount damaged. Then draw and play two blitz units from your deck, which is all arbalests. Choose an ally and play all copies of it from your deck. And I add to adapt. Choose a bronze ally on the battlefield in hand and add two copies of it to your deck. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to use Packers Dark Mirror first. And then we need to do a combined of 18 damage spread out over the elven rogues with up to seven arbalests. Because we can make two extra. I think this should be doable, right? Let's start with... Uh, Becker's Dark Mirror on that one. Yeah, so now Meave is stronger, so she can take a few hits. Then we play two Blitz units. I'm gonna have to start counting here. Um, so if I put that on the same row constantly... I should probably go with one on one, two on one. Yeah, I think I know what I, what I need to do. So play one. Give me a time. And put it on one elven rogue. And play another one with two. Your command. And then we need to put it on that one. Then end the turn. Use the Aretuza adapt to fill up one row. So Put her over here. <sighs> now I'll ever pay off these school loans. There we go. We got Illyrian Arbalests. And then the turn. So we added those in the deck. So now we have five Lyrian Arbalests. Choose now and play all copies of it from your deck. Here we go. Let's use the Lyrian Arbalest over there. And start counting. So technically on the front one. Two and three should be enough. So if I do two and then three, we have enough. Then we have four on that one in the back. And then three. I'm gonna do too much, aren't I? Give me a time. Oh no. Yeah, I made a mistake. I know. I needed to. Can I cancel that? Yeah, okay. So I can cancel it, because I can get to five, Abolition, and if I damage Meave up. instead, which is weird, but that's the way we're going to do it. And then I'm six with the last one on that one, and we got them all. There we go. So does that mean we actually capture those guys or not? Because they're not dead. There we go. This card has been added to your command tent. Becker's Dark Mirror. So it's a really cool card, so it kind of inverses damage or boosts, so you can either use it to damage a boosted enemy or boost a damaged enemy uh, or unit in this case. So uh, I'm wondering what it does if it does the same thing in here as it does in Gwent. Because it kind of did. Uh, so it's probably a trinket. 
Yeah, there we go. Damage the highest... Oh, so it's the same. So damage the highest unit on the battlefield by up to 15. Then boost the lowest unit by the amount damaged. Is that better than... So that's a maximum of 30 points. While I think with the Lyrian Merlot we can do more. Um, I'm also feeling like we need to get rid of Knickers. So Yummy Treats are probably always Trinkets. So that's why he went for the Lyrian Merlot. I feel like Nickers is handy for multiple rounds, but not so much... Because he strengthens himself with the... He doesn't boost himself. I think he strengthens himself with the uh, the stuff he takes. Yeah, I guess we'll see. So so let's upgrade the mess tent now. So units excluding artifacts will take up 10% less of the recruit cap, which just allows us to make a stronger deck in the hole. So let's check out the command tent and rearrange the deck a bit. So now we have 26 extra points we can actually spend. So since we can use the abilities from the drummer so much with uh, Xavier now, we actually allowed the... Um, where is it? We added another war wagon, so we added a lot more blitz units in general. So we added the war wagon and then we re-added the cavalry units from the strays. So the marking and continuously damaging uh, stuff. So there we go. Uh, that's just what our new deck looks like. I'm just gonna keep Nickers for now. I feel like he might come in handy in longer battles. So we're just gonna keep him in for now. Am I actually wondering if I can... Can we talk to Nickers? Oh no, he's just sitting here. He's... Did he make his noise? No. Oh yeah, he is. He is making dog noises. Look at him. He's actually smaller than I anticipated. So this is the dog that, that took a piece out of a, a soldier's underwear. He looks small. But uh, here we go, continue on. Um, so there is a chest over there, so I think I'm going to try and loop around and get that first. I might get ambushed again, but I'm constantly at neutral morale anyway, so I don't think it will really matter. There's a battle on the road there. And usually if they are normal signs, hmm, those are multiple rounds, but... Uh, before we go into that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And when we get back, we're going to go further through the Mulderwood and battle a few more Squirtel, I'm going to suppose. So thank you guys again enormously for watching and hope to see you guys in the next episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye. Yeah,